in any city, in any country, go to any museum you can get yourself into. Approach the curator and ask to see the holder of history. A look of terror will come over his face. He will remove his glasses and press them into your hands. His eyes now appear completely white, devoid of iris or pupil. The glasses have no lenses. Put them on and speak the word when. The curator will lead you to a trapdoor behind a map of the museum and, covering his blind eyes, will open the door for you. Climb in. Do not remove the glasses. If you do, the nightmarish world beyond ours is all you will see for eternity. Your mind will not survive. Walk along the stone pathway before you. It may stretch on for miles, the journey may take days, but you must keep walking. Don't ever stop or turn around. Eventually, you will hear children's voices, hundreds of them, as if all the children of Earth were speaking to you at once. The voices will scream wishes, regrets, and sorrows. Still, you must push on. If in the darkness you feel to small hands grasping your head, stand completely still and say I know why, but I seek when. If the spirit is merciful, the hands will be released and you can walk onwards. You will know you have reached your destination when the passage reaches a dead end. Slowly turn around, every single child that has ever died will fill the passage you have just walked. Their bodies are naked, their eyes milky white and shining. Hopefully, one of them will say, so you seek one, confidently reply yes. The crowd will part, and a young girl, different from the others, will approach you. Clothed in a blue dress with eyes as black as oblivion itself, she will hand you a notebook. It is also blue, but with an indecipherable language on the front cover. Blink, and you will find yourself outside the museum. The notebook contains information on everything that has ever occurred in the history of mankind. The notebook is object 148 of 538. Even you cannot read it. Yet, 